Hello and welcome back to Meat City Gaming. JD here with another episode of the 1000 Gamer Score Report, and today we're talking about Prison Architect. And this is a game that was on Steam and was ported over to the Xbox and the consoles. And we're going to take a look at the achievements and we're going to review them and talk about them and uh, give you a little bit of a, of a heads up on what you can expect from this game from an achievement standpoint if you're thinking about picking this one up. So first off, the total number of achievements in this game, there are 31 of them to get your 1000 gamer score and there is no DLC with any extra achievements or anything else. You pick up the base game, you get the 31 achievements, you get your 1000 G and you are done. The In terms of um, how long it takes to complete, it can take a while and, and it can vary greatly and I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, for me, you know, it was definitely uh, a two day affair, 48 hours plus um, to get all the achievements and, and I'll talk about what kind of drives that number and, and what you can expect in terms of planning your time out for this game. Uh, because on the surface it looks very simple but there are a couple of mechanics and achievements that take a little bit of, uh, of effort and, and certainly a lot of time. So I usually review the story mode for the game and how that ties into the achievements and this game kind of has a story mode. Um, it's more of a series of tutorial missions. I think there's five of them in total and they are kind of a tutorial introduction to the game. You basically have mostly unlimited resources and you're given a pre-built jail and you have a little bit of a story about one particular prisoner maybe and what they're going through and then based on what happens to that prisoner you're given some tasks and you accomplish the tasks, you step through them and it's kind of teaching you the different systems in Prison Architect and at the end you'll have completed those those five or six missions, whatever it is, and you'll get um, achievements for each of them and there's also an achievement for completing all of the secondary objectives. Um, so there's a main objective, it's to build 10 cells. And maybe before you complete that, there's an optional objective to hire 10 guards. So make sure you do the optional ones first, then complete the primaries to advance through and you should get all of them. I say should, I certainly had an issue. One of the missions, I completed it five times. I was very careful, I made sure I did all the secondary objectives and I would not get the unlock of that secondary objective achievement. It was for the, the mission Palermo. I think it's the second story mode uh, tutorial mission. And then finally there was an update that came in about two days before I finished up the game. And after that update I was able to unlock that last uh, secondary objective achievement. So hopefully it's fixed now. Hopefully you guys don't run into that. But for me it was an issue and you know the achievements in general are a little glitchy here. I'll talk about that a little more as we go on. So in terms of collectibles, there's not really collectibles either. You don't have to hunt around and pick things up. Um, but there is kind of one, and it relates to snapshots. And once again, I'll get into those very shortly, what they are. Um, the, the most annoying aspect of this game in terms of its achievements. So quickly we'll touch on the hardest achievement, and for me, you could pick a bunch of them. I'm going to say it's confined. You get 1,000 gamer score for building a prison in prison architect mode, which is basically where you start from scratch, build up your own prison, and you have to have 500 prisoners housed within your prison. There might be a way to fast track that, to, to wait until 500 prisoners become available, build a huge holding cell, throw them in all at once and if you can get all 500 in there in a single day then you would unlock this quickly. I don't think that would work. It's possible but I'm using confined kind of as a placeholder for a number of achievements that require you to build up a very large and well maintained prison. There's one that has has you sell the prison for a certain amount of money and, and some other ones that require that. So it's the hardest one because you just have to pay attention, you have to step through, you have limited resources when you're in this mode and you need to you know, kind of slowly build your way through. And it takes a bit of time. If you have it on the easiest setting, you're not really gonna fail. Um, but if you completely stop paying attention, you could have a riot, you could have you know, some kind of disaster befall your prison, and I guess you could fail. But if you have it on the, the easiest setting, you probably won't. Okay, here we go. Prepare the salt shakers, guys, because we're gonna talk about the hardest or the most annoying achievement and it's called, it's not what you know. 
It's worth 1, 000, uh, 100 gamer score, and it requires you to collect all of the snapshots in the game. And what are snapshots? Well, they're photographs, and 95% of them, there's like 165 of them in the game, 95 percent of the snapshots you earn by completing the story mode those five tutorials they're kind of told with these little polaroid snapshots that pop up on your screen the problem is there's 12 more that don't come from those tutorial missions where you get those other 12 is randomly when you're playing the game each one of them has a certain scenario that could cause it to unlock and unlock means drop on the ground for a short amount of time for example, there's one called Prison Life. Now in game, that's the only thing you know about this snapshot is it's called Prison Life. You can look up online and try to figure out what it does. And there are some resources out there, but there's not a ton. And some of them are a little bit vague. But Prison Life requires one of your prisoners to be in their cell, specifically locked up in their cell. Well, you would think that's really easy then because 90% of the game you've got prisoners locked up in their cells so it shouldn't be trouble to get this uh the snapshot to drop the problem is it's completely random when and if it happens and if it happens it only the snapshot stays on the ground it's a little little tiny purple icon on the ground if you're not looking right at it and you miss it Within a minute of in-game time, give or take, depending on the speed you're running the, the game at, it will disappear. And if it was there, and you missed it, and it disappeared, it will never spawn again on that save file, in that game. This is horrendous achievement design. It's not only random, which is already terrible, but it's extremely time-limited, and it's missable, and you might not even know you missed it. I don't know who came up with this achievement and who designed it, but they're not a gamer and they're not somebody who pays attention to achievements because this is everything, everything that I personally and I would think anybody else who hunts achievements, who collects achievements, would hate about achievements all rolled into one. This was the last achievement that I unlocked, as you can imagine, and at least the last five hours that I spent playing this game was spent staring at a little eight cell arrangement that I had created in the architect mode, staring at the screen, waiting for the stupid photograph to drop. I'll have it up in the background. You can see what I was doing. This is just a taste of what I was doing, trying to get this snapshot to drop. And there's 12 of them. Some of them you'll catch, you'll, you'll see right away. Your first fight, there's usually one that will drop. And some of them are a little bit more reliable about getting to drop than others. But there's one that you're, it happens when your prisoners are eating in the canteen, which happens all the time. But again, that was the second hardest one for me to get to drop, and it took forever for it to happen. So this was just, it was frustrating. It was hard to deal with. It really, it was the way I ended the game, and it left such a sour taste in my mouth. Um, in addition to that, there's other achievements in the game that don't unlock when they say they're going to unlock. There's one that says you need to have so many cells, it might be 50 prison cells, that have a higher luxury rating than the prisoner in them deserves. So when your prisoners come into your prison, they start with a, a behavior of zero, which means they deserve a cell of zero. Well, if you pre I preloaded cells, uh, whatever the number was, to have some luxury items in them, so their ratings were all higher than zero, I let in 50 prisoners at once, they all went to their cells, I checked the graph, each cell had a rating higher than the prisoner that was in it, and the achievement didn't unlock. Instead, thanks to an online guide I was able to find, I had to go through some weird thing of, again, loading 50 people all at once into one big holding cell with no luxury items, with no individual cells, and that unlocked the achievement. So there's this kind of achievement nonsense all over this game. It was a really frustrating experience from an achievement standpoint. From a game standpoint, it was kind of cool. It had some cool mechanics, but this is an achievement review, and I'm telling you the achievements for this game are annoying, random, and just all around terrible. So it should come as no surprise that my final score for this game, my final review of the achievements, is a 2 out of 10. It is random. It is tedious. It is time-consuming. It is glitchy. And it is just a really, really awful experience in terms of achievements. So 
this was my first really negative achievement review. My first uh, thumbs down in terms of the 1000 gamer score report. And I, I wish it wasn't so because the game has some cool qualities. It is, you know, this development of a, a small project from Steam. So I want it to do well. And if, if you're not an achievement hunter, if you're not an achievement collector, you're not gonna you're not gonna care about those issues. But if you're watching this, I assume you are. And if you are, I want to let you know what you're getting into. It's a pain in the butt. So if you decide to take this one on, good luck. Hopefully with the knowledge that I kind of highlighted here for you, you'll know what you're getting into. You might be able to have a little bit more success than I did. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this, please feel free to like and favorite the video. And as always, you can subscribe to Meat City Gaming for future content. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.